Hi, my name is Tyler Hayes. I'm a junior here at Duke. I'm a cell and molecular biology first major and a French and Italian studies second major with hopefully an economics minor. I come from New Jersey, a large uh, Italian American community on the on the Jersey Shore, which has become a little bit cliche these days. Um, and I had been studying Italian ever since I can remember. Um, my grandfather was a Italian American butcher from Sicily, um, so I remember sitting in his Italian shop and picking up the Sicilian words when I could. And I decided to formally study Italian um, throughout my um, throughout middle school and throughout high school because um, I really wasn't left with much of an option coming from a big Italian American family. Um, Italian was something I was expected to follow and it was something I enjoyed um, so it was great both ways. Um, and then when it came time to to pick a college I knew that science was something that I wanted to go into long run um, but I also wanted to continue my Italian studies and pick up another language because I think languages are absolutely fascinating. Um, they open so many doors and you can really communicate with an entire new world of people by learning a language. So I was looking for a school where I could could study, study science, study biology, and then also um, pick up another language on the side and also continue Italian. So I kind of had these requirements um, and Italian, um, sorry, Duke totally fit those um, those expectations that I had, I was able to study biology as a first major and then also study Italian and pick up a new language which I decided would be French um, because it was similar to Italian um, and it was be because it was something that I always had wanted to learn, a language that I always wanted to learn. Um, so when I came to Duke I started with um, Italian 101, the Italian writing workshop with Luciana Fellin um, who eventually became my advisor. It's, it was a fantastic class, really refined my, my Italian skills. And then the next semester, I took a, an Italian literature course with Martin Eisner, which was extremely challenging. Um, it was basically Shakespeare, but in Italian. So all those, all those difficult Italian works um, from Dante, there, there were so many authors, um, and it was definitely a, a really big challenge. And I also started French. I started with French 1, um, which I loved, thought was amazing. And, and it was really nice because I've been taking organic chemistry, multivariable calculus, cell and molecular biology, and I kind of wanted a break from that, and Italian and French really afforded me that, that opportunity. Um, so in that spring semester of my freshman year, I, I knew that I was going to go abroad one day, so I decided, why not just do it? So I decided that I was going to go to the Università di Bologna in that fall, the fall of my sophomore year. Um, my uncle went there and studied medicine. Um, it was a program through Brown University which allowed me to directly enroll in the University of Bologna, um, which, is, which is what I wanted. I wanted that, that full Italian experience, taking Italian classes with other Italian students, um, going on cappuccino breaks in between classes, things like that. Um, so after that summer, um, during which I did some, some research here at Duke, I packed my bags and went to Bologna, Italy, and I was living in an apartment with, um, with, with Italians and students from Brown, um, and I was kind of left on my own to really navigate my way through Bologna in so many different ways, through restaurants, museums, libraries, picking my classes, getting to my classes, um, trying to understand why in the middle of my classes are people getting on these big bullhorns and protesting during my classes is something I wasn't used to here at Duke. Um, so I learned about the Italian student culture there and also um, academically I, I learned a whole lot more. I took Italian art classes, um, literature classes, archaeology, um, and really all those classes related to Italian. It was something I could carry with me back, back at Duke. Um, so after that experience and the, the fall of my sophomore year, I came back to Duke excited to continue, co to continue with Italian and French. I took, a, I took a break that spring from my Italian classes, um, just schedule-wise, it, it didn't really work. Um, and I had one class left for my major requirement, and I kind of wanted to save it for something I was really passionate about. 
and then I, I can continue with my French and I started, I bumped up the level to French 63 because of the similarities between the languages and really still enjoyed it and it was still such a, a nice break um, from, from my other classes um, that were really, really rigorous um, but also interesting. And then during that, that summer, the summer after my sophomore year, I decided that I was going to study Spanish as well. <laughs> so I thought what better way to do that than would be to, to join Duke's um, Duke in Mexico program through the Spanish department here. So I decided that I was going to live in a homestay without ever studying Spanish before and that I was going to start with French 63, which is one, I'm sorry, Spanish 63, which is one of the, the higher levels in the language learning process. It was 1, 2, 63, 76. So I knew that it was going to be challenging because I had never studied Spanish and I was living with um, a homestay family, but in the end it, it absolutely became, became totally worth it. Um, I struggled in the beginning in the classes trying to use my French and Italian knowledge um, to get by, and then eventually I started learning um, the words and the colloquialisms and, and all those things that really made the, my time in Puebla, in Puebla, Mexico, um, something that I'll never forget. Living with a, a homestay family was fantastic. Um, I got used to their, their eating schedule and we, we used to sit around at a table uh, every Sunday, which is something I did with my Italian family, but this time we would enjoy um, traditional Mexican dishes. Um, so it was great and I'll never forget my host family there and the Spanish I learned um, at the university there where we studied. So now I am a junior uh, in my fall semester and I decided that I was going to continue with French obviously and I found an Italian class um, that I thought was fantastic and a great way to wrap up my Italian experience at Duke before I started my, my thesis writing. Um, and that was the Italian-American experience with, again, my advisor, Luciana Fellin. And I was like, that's pretty much my life. I, I am an Italian-American, um, fascinated by being Italian-American and, and the Italian-Americans throughout the nation. So I chose that class, and um, I'm still not done with it, but it, it's been a real pleasure so far, um, examining mob culture and the Guido culture, which is something I'm um, familiar with being from the Jersey Shore. And um, I'm also taking a f my first French 100 level class with Deborah Reisinger, which I also absolutely love. And next semester I'll be taking more French classes, um, French scientists write with Professor Bell, um, and then a French cinema class as well. So that will put me in good shape for my senior year to, to do a French and Italian studies um, thesis, spending my fall doing my research, and then my spring of my senior year, um, really putting that research together and, and choosing a, um, a solid topic to build my paper around. Um, and right now, as far as career-wise, I would love to um, get an MD-PhD to do uh, cancer biology research. Um, it's a long commitment, usually seven to nine years to do that, to do that, um, to do one of those MD-PhD programs. And uh, I would really, really absolutely like um, to either work in a research institute in Paris or um, in, in other parts of France, in Italy, or maybe even French-speaking Switzerland where, where scientific research is really, really strong and where my language, I think, would give me um, an invaluable advantage. So that's where I am right now, and I have two semesters left at Duke, and I can't wait to continue learning French and maybe pick up another language. I don't know if I can, but I'd, I'd like to. And um, yeah, so I have one more year left and I'm, and I'm super excited to continue taking French and, and to write my thesis and really um, put a good capstone on my experience here at Duke. Thanks.